Hi, it's Emanago. So I know I'm starting out this video kind of different because I'm not wearing any makeup in my intro. Normally I always have on my makeup for the intro, but not today because today we're going to do a first impressions. So before we get started, I wanted to talk about why I have been gone for a little while here on YouTube. So as you guys know, I went to Poland for um, a little vacation. And if you follow me on Instagram, you have seen all the pics that I have been putting out. I had a really good time. I ate a lot of cake. And when I got back home to Denmark, um, I had my bachelor exam. So yeah, I graduated my bachelor. So now I am officially um, bachelor of English. And I have also started school again. So now I'm doing cultural studies. So that is what has been going on and why I have been gone from YouTube for a little while. But I am so excited to be back today and today I am going to try on a new foundation and concealer. So you guys have probably heard about them. This is the new lasting finish 24 hour breathable foundation and the matching concealer. So I was going to do this video back in the end of January, but it didn't work out like that, so I'm doing it now. The original Rimmel Lasting Finish foundation is one of my all-time favorites. It really lasts um, on my oily skin, and I really like the coverage and the finish. It's just a really good um, drugstore foundation. So I picked up the new foundation, the breathable version, in the color Ivory. I am usually ivory in all Rimmel's foundations, so hopefully it's a good match. And I picked up the matching concealer in the color number 001 Light Ivory. And I just wanted to talk about the color selection real quick, because as you guys know, if you're into makeup, um, the whole revolution with diversity and inclus inclusivity and um, represent representation has just been really huge, um, especially after Fenty Beauty launched and I feel like after Fenty Beauty launched a lot of companies really got on board with expanding their shade range. However, for some reason in Denmark um, you can get these two products but they're only available in a very limited number of shades. So my color Ivory is available but in Poland I saw that they had a color lighter than this and that one is not available in Denmark, you cannot buy it here. And the concealer I got is not available in Denmark. Um, the lightest color we have here is the color Fair, which is basically the same color as this foundation, at least that's what it looked like. And I just don't understand that. I know a lot of products that are available in the US and in Europe. Um, in Europe we just don't have the same amount of colors as the US does. And that makes a little more sense to me, but to have two European countries that are both EU members and not release the same colors, I mean, I just don't get it. So I'm so happy I picked this one up in Poland because I wouldn't have been able to get it in Denmark. So that was just a little FYI um, because I just wanted to give an international perspective because um, the shade range here in Denmark is really poor. It's getting a little bit better. I saw L'Oreal put out some new shades, Maybelline, but like for drugstore and affordable makeup in Denmark, the shade range is just, it's really bad. Anyways, I'm going to put on a primer and then we are going to test out the foundation. So I'm using W7's Prime Magic Face Primer and I'm going to apply this all over. Um, I know like Shanix though, she does like half a face with with primer and the other half without but I never wear foundation without primer so I thought I would apply it all over. So I'm going to shake up the foundation and this foundation has a huge doe foot applicator and I'm going to apply two dips to my face and see what kind of coverage I get. It is medium coverage, that's what it says. So I feel like it's on the verge of being a little bit too dark for me, but it's probably fine. So I'm going to use this clean foundation brush and just blend it out. This one smells exactly like the, the original lasting finish. It has kind of like a fresh smell. I can't quite describe it. So it's definitely a medium coverage. 
I would even say on like the lighter end of the medium coverage and it blends out fine with a brush. I don't find it to be streaky. So this is the first layer of coverage. Um, it did not cover up my acne scars or all of my redness like here on the chin and it didn't cover up you know my broken capillaries is that what it's called and it's looking ever so slightly cakey down here on the chin and around my nose and normally foundations do tend to look a little bit cakey around my nose but not really on my chin so that's not so great so i'm going to do one more layer and again i'm using two it's not two pumps but you know i dip in twice and i'm going to stipple it out and see if that adds more coverage so that's what i'm talking about it's adding more coverage i like that i really like it now that i have the second layer on that really made a huge difference it took it from like a light medium coverage to definitely a more flawless but still natural medium coverage. So I'm going to zoom you in so you can see. So this is what the foundation looks like up close. So the skin has definitely been evened out. It is a tiny bit cake around the nostril and a little tiny bit down here but not it basically went away when I put on that second layer. And of course you can still see some acne scars and some little bumps and marks, but it is medium coverage. Overall, I'm really happy with how this is looking. So now let's try out the concealer. So it's a little sponge applicator and you just squeeze it and there uh, is your product. So I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes and then I just highlight my face and I highlight my smile lines to brighten those up because they can get a little dark, little dark. So it says that this is also a medium coverage concealer and normally I'm not too fond of lighter coverage concealers. Okay, so I applied a little bit much. So it actually has more coverage than I was expecting. I will definitely have to remove some of this because it's way too much. Okay, so I went ahead and zoomed you guys out. And what do you think? I think it looks really good. So I'm going to set with my Laura Mercier um, Translucent Loose Powder. I always set my foundations, except for my Rimmel Stay Matte. That one I do not have to set. I can if I want to, but it's not absolutely necessary. And I think my foundation does not feel tacky whatsoever. So if you don't normally um, powder your face, I think you don't have to with this one. However, the concealer does feel more tacky and I would definitely set that. I also, this is the unpowdered side, I really like the finish. It's not that super dewy. But it's not completely matte either. I think this would be beautiful if you don't powder. But if I don't powder my face, my face makeup is going to slide off in literally a few hours. Okay, so this is what my face looks like now that I have powdered. I am very pleased. It looks very seamless on my face. It looks very natural. It has not emphasized any pores whatsoever. But I did apply a primer, so that definitely helps. The concealer does not look super heavy underneath my eyes. I really do like that. However, it is definitely, definitely only medium coverage because I can see some blue circles. But that's not surprising. It is a medium coverage concealer. So overall, I really do like it. It does not look heavy and it looks really naturally pretty and as far as the color goes I think it's a really great shade match so I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of my face makeup and I will be back to do half of my face with setting spray okay so I just got done doing another first impressions video on these new Rimmel Kate Moss sculpting palettes so that will be up later I'm still really enjoying how the foundation and concealer is looking all the face products 
my bronzer, my highlight, and my blush all went on my face really beautifully. So to finish off uh, my face makeup, I'm going to set half of my face with the Rimmel Insta Fix and Go 2-in-1 Primer and Setting Spray. So as I mentioned in the start of this video, I do always wear a primer, but I don't always wear a setting spray. So we are going to do half of the face and see if there is any difference. So I'm going to use this lid from a shoebox to section off my face. So we will see if this side looks better and wears longer than this side. So I'm just zooming you guys in so you can see what the face looks like right now. I would definitely wear a corrector with this concealer because it is only medium coverage. But other than that, I'm very pleased. So it's 4 o'clock right now. I know I filmed these videos super late. But I'm going to go about my business. I'm going to do a makeup, like an eye makeup tutorial. I'm going to film another video after that. Then I'm going to maybe go for a walk. I'm going to have dinner. Um, I'm going to clean up a bit around the house. So I'm going to be back tonight um, so you guys can see how uh, the products hold up. Okay, so I'm back. It's 9 o'clock now. I know it's not been that long. It's only been 5 hours. But let's see how the makeup has hold up. So this is what my face looks like after 5 hours. It looks pretty good, right? My chin is starting to get a little bit oily. My, my chin is always the first place I get oily and then I get oily around the nose and in this inner cheek area. And I feel like it's fading ever so slightly down here along the jaw. It is not looking cakey or creasy. The foundation has really held up nicely and I think it looks great on the setting spray side and the non-setting spray side. However, I think it looks a little bit better on the setting spray side, but that makes sense. It's a little more cakey over here. The concealer also looks really good. Um, it is a medium coverage concealer, so you can see my dark circles. But as far as like creasing or anything like that, it looks really good. <clears throat> Excuse me. It hasn't emphasized my lines at all. It hasn't gone cakey, it isn't creasing. So I must say all in all that the foundation and the concealer are both, bleh, are both really great products. I would totally wear them again, I would totally recommend them. If you're looking for a medium coverage buildable foundation that has a natural finish, not too dewy, not too matte, then I think you will definitely like it. And if you're looking for a good medium coverage concealer, I would also definitely recommend the concealer. So that is all for this first impressions video. I hope you guys liked it. As always, if you did like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. So take care and bye bye.